Hi, I'm Maureen Francisco, your host for Stiletto Women. Today we have the president and founder of Real Self, which is an educational website on elective procedures. Because the reality is, a little tweak in there is not just happening in Hollywood, it is happening in nearly every city across America. So Tom, thank you so much for joining us. So much fun to be here. Thank so, you. Tom, how did you come up with the concept Real Self? The Real Self concept came about uh, many years ago. I was working in the travel industry, online travel, and I was struck by how powerful it was that people had access to reviews and consumer opinions about hotel rooms. And I thought that was something that would be very interesting to bring to medical and health field. Uh, my wife at the time said to me, gee, you know, it's so hard for me to personally research aesthetic products and pr procedures that are completely elective, but hard to find online with authentic information, the kind of information you see with a hotel review. So she sort of said this at the same time I was thinking about leaving, leaving my job and trying to start my own thing. And then Real Self was born from that with a very strong focus on cosmetic procedures and empowering consumers to share their real experiences and post about them in reviews and ratings. So let's talk more about these real experiences because I've had a chance to navigate through the site. Mm -hmm. People are really telling their stories after they've gone through the procedure. Some of these stories are remarkable, they're yeah. life changing. Others though, people have deep regrets. So tell us more about that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty incredible. The, you know, the aesthetic decisions, whether you're thinking about how to straighten your smile or remove fat from your your waistline or some other procedure is more than just a clinical challenge. It is not just a health issue, it's an emotional one. And people really have come forward in a, in a major way and stepped up. Thousands of stories have been told. And you're right, some of them are heart-wrenching, sad stories where people didn't do their proper research, have regretted it, and, and really have struggled to recover from a procedure that didn't go right for them where other people have found that is quite the opposite. It was everything they had hoped and more. It gave them a boost of their self-esteem. It was something maybe they've been thinking about since they were a teenager, and it really made them feel like they uh, had, a, had changed their life in a positive direction. Now, what is the one last thing you want consumers to walk away after they visited Real Self? I, I think the difference uh, that we'd like to strike in any person's uh, when they first come to realself.com is that it's an authentic format and forum for them to share anonymously or to participate or just listen in to conversations that are really important for them to get before they make a decision about a personal cosmetic change. Great. So, Thank you again, Tom. You, you have a great platform. Once again, that is realself.com. Until next time.